Hey, what's up, guys? Airbrush FX here, and today I'm giving you guys a little quick, simple um, Photoshop tutorial. And it is about optical flares. I know these things are overused, and um, I don't know. They're kind. Of, some people don't like them, but it's a quick thing. Uh, as you can see here, I got a uh, a background that I did. Um, here and I use a, a lot of different light effects but I'm just going to show you a way that I don't see many people do in speed art and stuff um, and you don't need to do this but this is only if you need a perfectly symmetrical um, optical flare or if you want the instead of you know erasing around it uh, this is an alternative that you could do and we'll just use this one and okay, for starters, a good thing you want to do before you see how there's a lot of it's not a lot of black around the edges. What you can do is you can go to image adjustments, and before you do that, you gotta go to rasterize layer, then go to image adjustments, then go to levels, and go ahead and bring the black down to where there's pretty much black along the edge. That's good right there. Okay. And then you can go ahead and go to screen. This makes it so it's it's not all green. It actually makes more of it transparent. But then you can see on the edges here, it's a straight edge and you don't want that. And what most people do is they just go ahead in here and, you know, erase like this. It's perfectly fine to do that. But if you don't want to do that and you want more of a uh, symmetrical uh, you know flare what you can do is you go click and hold your select tool here go to the optical marquee tool and then click and hold in the center of the flare or wherever the center of the flare is and hold it and, that, and when you can see and you drag it, it it doesn't stay in the middle so if you hold alt that keep that sticks it in the middle. That's what she said. No, but um, and then you can um, take this and you want to go make it as big as you know as you want. And right about here is good. You don't want to go to the very edge. You want to leave some some excess. And then. What you do is you go to, and I think this might only be in Photoshop CS5, I don't know. You go ahead and go to Select, and then go to Redefine Edge. And then you get this little thing here. And this is pretty much shows your selection. And, okay, so yeah, as you can see, it's a crisp edge. So we don't want that. So what you need to go to Feather. Just take the feather up to about you can do a lot there and then what you can do is bring the, sh the edge in a little bit the shift edge that brings it in a little bit and right there you can bring the uh, feather down a little bit just mess with this and it, it, it previews it right here for you to see so you know exactly what you're what you're gonna get. Those are the only two ones you need to really mess with is the shift edge and feather. You don't really need to smooth anything out. It's not doesn't really do anything. And I'll just add a little bit more feather. And that should be good. And you go ahead and click OK. And now you've got your select in the middle. So what you want to do is go to select inverse to select what you don't want and just go ahead and click delete and what that does is give you a nice feather a perfectly oval feather where you don't have to delete you don't have to go in and erase anything it keeps it nice and symmetrical and then you know you can do whatever if you need it more feathered you can go in and do it again delete it um, but 
but yeah that's that and uh you can mess with the opacity here and bring it down and you know do whatever and i uh, hope you enjoyed guys uh and go ahead and let me know if you guys want to see some speed arts uh, or um more tutorials um I actually have a canvas painting coming up that will be probably in the next week, in the next maybe three days. I'll probably have the video for that. I have another speed painting coming up next after this video. So uh, go ahead and uh, leave this video a like and subscribe if you want to see more videos. And um, thanks a lot, guys. This has been Airbrush FX. Peace out.